I am here today with my son Calvin Jackson, who's four years old and was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes on November 18th, 2014. He was two. Life changing. And we are here today to meet other families who, uh, you know, that are also living with type 1. The Pediatric Diabetes Clinic is a multidisciplinary clinic um, where we bring in three patients and their families to see our entire healthcare team. Hi, how are you? Good. So they come in, they see um, the pediatric endocrinologist, the LPN, the RN, who's a diabetes care manager, the social worker, um, and the dietitian. It's convenient because you get all of your information in one place. You know, we can pull all of our resources together because that's what it takes to manage this disease. It doesn't take just one person. It really does take the village. You know, so it's priceless. Following the individual meeting with the clinicians, each patient and their family come together um, to do additional education and support. So they get to meet other families that are going through similar things that they are. This is a 24 seven illness. And to have somebody else who's living that same 24 seven is huge. I mean, the list is endless, all of the different things you need to know. And to be able to just, you know, pop ideas off of each other, um, things that you wouldn't hear from the endocrinologist, things that you wouldn't hear from the CDE, things that we just live with because we're the moms doing it. It also allowed us to collaborate. It allowed me to see the perspective of, say, the dietitian or the social worker. Um, so we really relied on the entire team to come up with a, a, a better approach. It also allowed us to tailor it to that individual. So, for example, you can imagine the needs of a six-year-old is very different than that of a 17-year-old that's ready to go away to college. So we were able to really tailor the education to, to meet those transitions, to help them become this healthy, healthy adult. Reaching out to other families living with the same illness is huge. Um, like I said before, because there's nobody else who can answer some of your questions. There's nobody else who really understands what you're going through.